Hey there! Today we're going to be watching sorting algorithms in three different ways as they sort a list of integers. The first way is we're going to just plot a bar graph of the list at each step of the algorithm. The second way is we're going to listen to them by playing a tone, generally at each step of the algorithm, with a frequency ranging from 100 Hz to 2000 Hz, depending on the integer value at the algorithm's cursor. Some of the algorithms have moments of silence, but I'll save explaining that for a future video. The third way is we're going to visualize the sound. You've probably seen visualizations of sound before in some music players, but maybe you don't know how they work exactly. That's okay, I don't know the details either, but apparently all waves, including sound waves, are the sum of lots of sine waves at different frequencies. So you can reconstruct any sound by adding together the right sine waves. There's a great video by YouTuber 3 blue one brown that covers this very well, in case you're interested. Link in the description below. So what this means is that since every sound can be thought of as the sum of lots of sine waves, we can do something called a Fourier transform to extract the component sine waves out of any sound and then plot them on a graph like this. Here we've got time on the x-axis and frequency in hertz on the y-axis. Each data point tells us when to play a note and at what a frequency. So this diagonal line sounds like this. Now, to be clear, I've done a little cheating here. I'm not actually using any kind of Fourier transform function to generate these graphs. Instead, since my sorting algorithms already know what frequencies they're using to generate the sound files, I'm just generating the plots from that information since I already have it. It's much easier than extracting the same information from the resulting sound file. And since each note is a pure sine wave, we have one point on the graph per note. So it's really easy to construct this way. At any rate, smartphone apps that do this, called sound spectrum analyzers, are pretty easy to find, so feel free to whip one out and verify that my graphs are accurate. So with that out of the way, let's watch some sorting algorithms. I want to explain how they work, since there's already a wealth of information available online, so I'll just link to some Wikipedia articles below if you want to read more. First up is bubble sort. Next we have bounce sort, also called shaker sort and cocktail sort. This is an inefficient version that does not shrink its bouncing range as it sorts. I did this on purpose because I think the graph for this one is pretty neat.
I found this one interesting because if you watch carefully, you'll notice that the plot on the spectral graph very closely resembles the structure of the bar graph. So we've basically transmitted the full contents of the list with sound as it's being sorted. It really shouldn't have surprised me. What else was going to happen? Still, very fun to discover that happening. Next we have insert sort, which tends to give me the mental image of a flock of angry dive-bombing birds. Next we have quicksort, specifically an in-place implementation. Basically that means it does the bulk of the sorting within the same list that we give it, so it doesn't need as much extra memory to work compared to other versions. Next, we have base 2 radix sort. I find this one to be pretty strange. While watching it for about the first half or so, it doesn't look like it makes much progress. Looks to me like it's just randomly shuffling things around. Depending on how good your intuition for sound is, you might not hear it, 
but when we analyze the spectrum, it turns out this algorithm actually has a fair deal of structure in it. In previous videos, I know I showed one more, called Dynamic Range Random Sort, but it doesn't sound interesting. It's basically just random. Who would have thought, right? So I skipped it here. So that about does it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a like and comment below. If you didn't, feel free to give it a dislike and tell me why in the comments. If you want to see more, click subscribe and hit the bell, as I hope to make more videos in the coming weeks. With that, thanks for watching, and have a good one.